Dilworth School travelled south to Flatbush to meet Tangaroa College in round 8 of the Unitech 1A competition. Dilworth's debut 1A season already seen the new boys happily sitting mid-table after three impressive wins, while Tangaroa College was chasing its first victory of 2015. From the whistle, Dilworth's intent was clear. The Fords rampaged on to attack with prop Sean Fusitua leading the charge. The ball was laid back for open side Anthony Laval to score the opening try of the afternoon. Soon after, Tangaroa College again found themselves defending their line. Pressure from the Dilworth school scrum saw Tangaroa turn the ball over in the midfield. Dilworth second five, Tempest Pange pouncing on the loose ball and scoring thanks to the support of his forwards. Impressive Dilworth school first five eight, Molly Fiver was next to show his class. The diminutive 15 year old grubbering, regathering and sending a well timed pass out to the flying Seal Sifa took a tie to dot down for a classy try. Dilworth's fourth try of the match saw loose forwards Isilili Manu and Anthony Laval combine before the ball was given to the backs and big centre Sione Akukawa cut back to elude the Tangaroa defence on the stroke of half time. <laughs> 20 minutes into the second half and Dilworth extended its half time lead thanks to a well rehearsed line out move. The forwards combining to drive hooker Charles Walter over the line. It was then Tangaroa's turn to apply the pressure and when Dilworth conceded a free kick, some quick thinking saw open side flanker Tia Vialele over for the try. Dilworth went straight back onto attack and when the referee awarded the visitors a close range penalty, it was the two big propping partners getting in on the action. Fusia Tua passing to Tutau on the direct route to the touchdown. The final try of the afternoon was created off the back of a strong and elusive break by Dilworth school captain Ulema Kavienga. Number 11 getting close to scoring himself before laying the ball for Sean Fusitua to go over for a popular double. A comprehensive 49-7 victory for Dilworth, their fourth win of the season. Oh, the boys are pretty stoked there. Um, we didn't really imagine that we'll be um, the successful in one year in our first year. Oh, yeah, everyone's excited. So after eight rounds of the Unitech 1A Championships in Kent's and Auckland Grammar continued their unbeaten runs. Kings move into third, while valuable bonus points see Mags and Sacred Heart College remain in the hunt for a top four spot. Dilworth moves up a spot, while a second victory for Arere College moves them out of the relegation zone. A mouth-watering prospect in store following the school holidays as the unbeaten heavyweights St Kent's and Auckland Grammar go head-to-head. -head. Kelston face a stern test against Mount Albert. De La Salle take on an improving Aereri. Dilworth travel to King's Sacred Heart hosts St Peter's in a battle of the Catholic boys' schools. While 1A survival will be fought out between Otahu and Tangaroa in our live stream match of the round on Auckland First 15 TV.